Hi again, it's Chrissy Hughes, just checking in this week for a minute of mindfulness. I have been taking time throughout my day to be mindful, um, and there's actually a couple of things I wanted to share with you today. First, I was actually drawing on some of the history we have um, and the Navy, and thinking about two people in particular who really embodied some of the words that I hear being tossed around a lot lately to describe this current situation that we're all in, this global pandemic with regards to the COVID-19 coronavirus. Um, two of the words that I hear being tossed around a lot are isolation and confinement. So I spent some time and I was actually thinking who in Navy history has survived and thrived during isolation and confinement. And there were two people I really thought of. Um, one was a, a lecture that I attended um, put on by Captain Inch and his wife, Kathy Inch. And Captain Inch, if you, uh, if some of you might know, was a survivor of uh, the POW war camps um, in Vietnam. His airplane was shot down. He actually went down and um, had to survive being a POW. Um, and one of the things that he talked about, and he was confined and sometimes isolated depending on where they placed him in the, in the prison camps. He talked about how during his day, every day, he set himself a regular routine. He would wake up at a normal hour. He would spend some time cleaning his spaces. He would spend time working out every day, exercising, generally exercising. And then he would talk to people through the tapping system that they had or when he was in a um, area where there was multiple people, a general birthing, he would have a moment to talk with them. They also exercised their mind during that day too. So I was thinking about how I could uh, implement this in our own home for myself, for my family, for my children so that we are regularly finding parts in our day we wake up, uh, we tidy our spaces, we move our body for a little bit, and then we exercise our minds. And if I just do an hour of that each day, that's four hours within my day that are just a regular routine. Uh, so I've been reminding myself of that. The other person who what I was thinking a lot about that did really well under isolation, particularly, was uh, Captain Scott Kelly, and now astronaut Scott Kelly. Uh, went more than a year up in the space station, completely isolated from everyone else, also was confined in his space too. And a couple of things that I read and that I saw in an interview was he talked about how the daily activities that he would go about doing, you have many things you have to check regularly and maintain on a, uh, in a spaceship, according to what they tell me, never been to myself. He would be very mindful in those moments and take time and not necessarily rush through his tasks throughout the day. Think, I'm going to take this moment and just really make this one meal or really enjoy this song that I'm listening to. There's no need to rush about my day. Really slow down the pace and take a time to be mindful. If you've seen some of my videos earlier, we talk about how uh, be, you can be mindful in your daily tasks. Let go of the in external narrative or the internal narrative that might be going on with you. Letting those thoughts not trail off in many different directions. Just bring it back to that one thing that you're doing at that very moment and keep your attention and focus there for a time being. And this can be very helpful for our mental health. So I'd actually like to take these two words, isolation and confinement. I think that they're accurate. We all are feeling this way right now, but I wanna rebrand it to another word that I like a little bit better. Something that has a little bit more of a positive spin. And that word is solitude. So solitude means I might be on my own, I might be alone in this moment, but I'm standing firm. And when we stand together, that's talking about in solidarity. Even though we might be all alone, we all together are working, are standing together, are supporting the people who are helping us right now, and we will get to get through this and make it out on the other side. So these are just my thoughts for the day. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, you can always reach out to Fleet and Family for any questions that you might have with regard to the situation. We are here for you in this moment. 
Take some time to be mindful and we're looking forward to seeing all of your wonderful faces once we can all be together again. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.